I don't think Bellevue would be a good idea. I think Plattsmouth. Bellevue's just too big of a city. It's basically Omaha. It's just my... I see this... Losing the gear in uh, Akron was... I think it might have been the difference between being able to accomplish this and not accomplish it. Because it's just nothing but questions. Where's the store in Bellevue? If I had a phone, I could look on the satellite or the Google Maps and all those questions would be answered. I don't have a phone. And getting one is not going to happen. I, I barely got the last one I had uh, activated. And I had all my code words written down on something I could pull out. And I had other phones I, could, I was using. They were calling me going, hey, is this you? I don't have that now. I don't think I could activate another phone. Unless there's some way of just like, can you just like make up a name? I mean, they call them burner phones for a reason. I don't call them burner phones. Prepaid, but I always use my real name and my, you know, all my real information on them. Do you have to do that? Probably. I don't know. But I just, I don't feel safe spending $100 on a phone and a card because I have to have. And, and not getting it activated and a hundred dollars is out the window not going into Bellevue it's God only knows how long it, how far it is to the store from the, wherever the boat ramp is if I see some people on the boat ramp or hanging out I might pull up on the ramp and ask hey uh, is there a store nearby you know that sort of thing but yeah Platt's mouth might be the way to go it's only about 15 miles from where I'm at and I'm going so fast I did like 30 miles yesterday, easy, maybe more. I could probably make it to Nebraska City. Nebraska City is probably the best bet. But because if I stop in Plattsmouth, 20 miles later, I'm going to have to stop in Nebraska City. I'm going to have to. Maybe I should slow down. I should get to Plattsmouth and uh, do some shopping. And then take my time, spend the, uh, another day on the river to probably have to. It's so hard on my body pulling this thing out of the water and getting everything out of it and on it and the portage cart and dragging it into town. I was in agonizing pain uh, when I got back on the water and found a place to camp outside of Blair. I was suffering horribly. I, I had to stay there for an extra day. It's almost a prerequisite. That, okay, when you pull this thing into town and go shopping you're, and, and pull it back to the boat ramp and put it in the water and go down the river you're gonna have to stop someplace and stay there for a day that's why I'm in a jam kind of now with my supplies because I stayed on the river for an extra day doing nothing not traveling I'd have an extra day's supply of food and another gallon of water if I had done that but I had to because I was suffering so bad maybe I'm too old for this it's, it, no it's anybody would be suffering I don't give a damn if you're an 18 year old kid this would beat the shit out of you this would beat the crap out of you and I'm doing it by myself. A lot of people, they have a crew, they, they, at least two people, two kayaks. That way they just pull up into the boat ramp, drag it up to the, to the road, you know, right up to the end of the boat ramp. To, there's usually a park or something. And then the, the one guy walks into town and goes and gets supplies while the other one uh, guards the stuff. I'm not able to do that. I'm having to drag it to the store with me. And the whole idea, I'm sitting there, I'm starting to think about, he might have to hide it on the river and go into town, but I haven't seen a situation like that, that I could do it. This isn't like the Mississippi. The Mississippi, there was a road along both banks of the river almost the whole way. I was sitting there watching cars drive by the whole way. So I could literally pull over just about anywhere on and just drag my bike up to the road and ride into town. This isn't like that. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and drink some coffee and try to wait for the sun to dry some stuff out. Just, it's going to be a lot of hard work. I'm still, I'm 220 miles from Kansas City. I've done the math and it's quite a distance to Kansas City. A 200, it's 200. What have I done? Another fine mess I've gotten myself into.